This is a standard funnel web spider, and to tell you the truth, that's actually quite a large individual. Uh -huh. uh, but the one I'm about to show you dwarfs this one. Now, this is the one that was... Uh, oh, I'm yeah. just going to get it right in front of the camera. Uh, this is the one that was brought in the other day. It's okay, absolutely it. yeah, yeah. huge. I'm sort of working in reverse here. Uh, it's, it's enormous. Uh, I would say that's a non-survivable bite. Uh, you'd have to be very, very quick to get to hospital in order to survive that one. And uh, the, the venom is incredibly potent. People say, you know, how, how strong is it? How toxic is it? To put it into perspective, uh, we, we've got some of the world's most toxic land snakes in Australia. Uh, if you were bitten by what we call the taipan here or the eastern brown snake, if you were untreated, so, so no, no hospital, no medication, it, it would take about 12 to 18 hours for you to uh, to pass. Uh, with a funnel web, a little bit different, we have two current records. Uh, the adult record for the shortest time between being bitten and being dead is 76 minutes, uh, oh, not wow. hours. 76, so one hour and 15 minutes so roughly. Uh, and uh, the infant record is 13 minutes. So wow. uh, it is a very significant risk, uh, uh, not for everybody, but uh, if you're doing things like gardening without gloves, if you, if mm -hmm. you leave clothing or footwear outside overnight, mm -hmm. um, this is a very attractive place now, for a funnel web. To find. Wait a second. Mm -hmm. I was under the impression if you got bit by a spider, you became a superhero. I guess not, though. Uh, unfortunately not. That's, uh, I got bitten by a female funnel web who's not quite as severe many years ago and uh, I was actually hoping for some superpowers but sadly <laughs> none evolved. Uh, I didn't get alligator powers, I haven't got crocodile powers, I haven't got spider powers, okay. uh, not even wombat <laughs> powers. I've been bitten by everything and no superpowers. So don't go out trying to get bit by a spider. So if you are out there gardening or just doing whatever you need to do, how can you, like, what distinguishing features set the funnel web spider apart from a non venomous one good question um, well, in Australia, all spiders hunt with venom, oh. but we only have two or three that are uh, significant in their, their toxicity to affect a human adversely. Um, uh, they're a, a big, ugly-looking spider. A lot of people, some, some spiders are very pretty. These look very serious. They look as if they, they mean business. Um, they're glossy and black, and uh, they're, they're a powerfully built hmm. spider. So uh, most Australians are au fait with what they look like as part of our, our childhood learning. Uh, we're, we're taught about funnel words, taught to recognise them, taught to leave the bloody things alone, as yeah. we say here in Australia. And... Uh, uh, we run the anti-venom program at the Reptile Park. So uh, each year on the East Coast, we get about 30 serious funnel web bites and uh, anti-venom is used uh, around about 30 times. If we didn't have that anti-venom program, uh, the federal government in Australia claimed that as many as a dozen lives would be lost on the East Coast wow. of Australia each year, and those would be predominantly yeah. children. So, uh, Got it. Thankfully, All right. since we've had the anti-venom, we haven't ever had a fatality. It's been 40 years now. Well, that's good.